Yeah, um, supporters, let's come wrap help. up, Joe. What time is it? It's an hour and fifteen. Oh, is that shit. a time? Yeah, that's a time. I have a, I have a closing quote, not a closing quote, but a wrapping up quote. Oh shit! Yeah, drop it. All right. So, I mean, we kind of uh, dabbled on on a lot of topics. I feel like this episode, but I think this was good to come back to kind of uh, rerouting us in the sense of like what's going on with intellectualism or, or the lack of intellectual rigor in, in assessing like what's going on in the world and really asking the hard questions. And I just want to re- reiterate, like I understand that there's so much noise right now and there's only more growing noise. And I think the important thing is to really assess yourself before you assess others, right? Good advice. If, if you can, if you can really do that at like each level, each iteration of what you're doing in life and ask the question to yourself first, well, first Am of I all, wrong in my analysis of this? Well, first of all, just stop and fucking breathe. Like, everybody, like, literally, like, yeah. stop and, like, <sighs> yeah. just take a breath. In meditation, they call it respond, don't react. Yeah, pe- people take got, a breath. People and gotta start you'll doing that. immediately take, create some distance between the reaction you were about to have. Yeah. And even if you're by yourself and you see someone post something on Facebook, yeah. the reaction wave passes think, through your mind i think step back breathe. i think taking the breath would save the american economy like 200 billion dollars a year probably and a lot of stress also it costs them a how. lot of money because when people are about to buy that like 50 inch you know plasma tv on online that yeah. they can't afford be like they man might... i should really spend that money on that hemorrhoid cream instead or they might be like man i should actually like you know you know pay my child support payments or something and not get a big screen TV. Like, let me take a breath and think about that. Like, who knows? Anyways, my point is, uh, going back to perspectives, um, and I think, you know, John McCain, I mean, there's a lot of other people right now talking about John McCain who know a lot more about him, um, who have, you know, like worked with him or, or talked to him before. And I, I've learned a lot about him just in the last couple of days, I feel like, more than I ever really really knew and i i think like everyone else like you say you know at the end of the day like he he's a person um i I didn't always agree with what he said or what he did but i respected a lot of oftentimes how he went about his business and again not always there were moments where i just said man that's a sellout move and i really can't respect that but at the same time i I don't know of a politician who i can't say well that's my point well that's my point at the same time he's done things and been through things that I can't imagine, and I don't know. I, I like I don't know if he's I, followed I, if through I on, let's say, an honor code to a level I never have. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you, I mean, you 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 can't take that away. Is my point, and so I want to. Yeah, you can. He got captured. Boom. Well, so here's the thing. I take it away. Boom. <laughs> I I want to, uh, for my part, end with this quote, which is the one I shared with you earlier, and uh, it's this guy Jake uh, Jake Taper. I, I I forget CNN. Is that the CNN guy? Yeah. And this was an interview from about a year ago, right, when he was diagnosed or shortly after uh, John McCain was diagnosed with with essentially terminal brain cancer. And um, this is how he ended the interview. Jake Taper said, I hope I don't run this clip for another 50 years, but how do you want the American people to remember you? And this is what McCain responded. He served his country and not always right, made a lot of mistakes, made a lot of errors, but served his country. And I hope we could add honorably. I thought that was a Vonnegut quote, or you were saying it's a vonnegut S quote. I was saying it was a vonnegut S quote. Gotcha. But see what I mean, how it seems like a Vonnegut I just quote? got a little goosebumps from that, because like, yeah. that seems like a zoomed out perspective, man. Yeah, you hear that. And Death does that to people. Yeah, you hear that, and you're like, I mean, you want to talk about a juxtaposition with Trump. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Total, utterly opposite in the spectrum. And that really made me like when I saw it, because I remember hearing that a year ago and, and thinking like, yeah, I, I can I can hold those. We've talked about this before, like holding two conflicting viewpoints in your mind. At the same time. And I, I think it with appli- the, Live with the tension. Yeah, and I think it applies to people too. And that's a perfect example where like, yeah, he, he didn't always do things, but he recognized that. You know, like I think in part he's he's admitting to some of those contradictions that people have called him out upon, right? And, and and we all have contradictions. Yeah, who am I to like? You know, fair enough. So I, I just wanted to to mention that before we. Uh, I think that's a good quote to leave it on. Yeah, I would say so. So like, share, um, and subscribe. On the topic of honor, I highly recommend checking out some of the podcasts with the very bad wizards. One of the uh, very bad wizards host 
um, wrote a book recently, just came out maybe six months ago, five months ago, called Why Honor Matters. Oh, and cool. the concept is like there's a lot of criticism of honor and a lot of reasons why honor is bad. Think of Im- Imperial Japanese Empire. Uh, Think of like honor killings in Islam. Yeah. You know, there are our, a lot of things that people do bad behavior in the name of honor. Our colonization but there are a lot of go into that too. Amazing, sacrificial, um, just it makes you see like maybe that's what the meaning of life is type things. Yeah. are also associated with honor. So in a sense, honor is like anything. It has its bad side expressions and it has its beautiful side expressions. Yeah. And I think that is like a, a great example of like the difference between a Trump and a McCain. Because when I yeah. see a Trump, my brain tells me like if, if he were just a personal interaction I had, you know, I would I would just be on total guard and just assume yeah. this person is is just a vampire you yeah. know and i've met vampires in real life yeah i don't mean like vampires that suck your blood i mean vampires that suck your life energy they ain't sexy um and they're not sexy vampires these are people that just manipulate and try to you know take over people's lives and dominate and trump is that kind of person he doesn't care about values or honor right he doesn't have honor i would say trump the difference between trump and mccain is trump does not have honor yeah and and that's a bad thing you know it's funny if you ask him that he'd be like I, I would say I have I have I have probably, a fair, probably I have good honor probably the best honor any I, president you know has what? ever had. I might have he he'll say might because then you're like oh he's being humble right yeah I might have the best honor. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, let's end it there. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs>